welcome to another ride along with goggles and uh today here we are we've got the draw mat on on the uh overfloater k100e got a b double on there we had to get a hard park in here today we missed it on sunday and i didn't get a replacement in since because i had that for whatever reason oh yeah it was a recon site and there wasn't a hard parking available at the other end so we we're in the Esterlon map and we'll chat about that a little bit on the way let's see what we're up to here it's uh got our rep mal paso and it's pretty much straight forward forward we're just going to head on up past the cattle and drop off at um calara so this is going to be kind of a lot of like you know um it's like an expressway or freeway trip it's going to be pretty cool and uh yeah looking forward to it should be a good one so let's jump in and get her going talk about this a little bit on the way yeah i got i almost <laughs> i did actually a pretty good job of backing into here in my view and uh went pretty quick but you know with this long truck and i don't think i've backed it up too many times with that draw mat on to see what kind of visual impairment that gives me but yeah it was okay and we got a 8v92 from um slav jerry in here i actually really like the sound of this one it's good it's got us going right to go left here doesn't want us crossing the road apparently well that should change as soon as we just cross the road I don't know why it does that it's not illegal to turn left just may have to wait a little while Cargo is uh, 54,000. Wow, 420 pounds of tableware, isn't it? Oh no, wait a minute. We got flour on. Right. I was looking at one that was tableware, but then when I realized I had, uh, I didn't have hard parking turned on in this profile, I had to abandon it and get out of the game and set up the hard pro uh, parking in the profile config and this engine has a jake brake which is kind of nice Supposed to turn left here. Or right, sorry. God darn it. Wasn't paying attention. Put that window down and see what's going on out there. One thing about the overfloater K100, it should be nice to figure out what to do about the glass. I should ask somebody like uh, pissed her about that time is um let's see what is it six in the evening
Guess I should stay in this left lane. with these uh, two-stroke Detroit diesels um, and you think I'm trying to blow the engine up <laughs> just watch the tach tachometer and you'll see that we're not overdoing it I gotta ask my brother what he used to run his 318 Detroit up to That was an 8V71, 318 horsepower Detroit. In a Transtar 2. control set up right in here either. It's in five mile an hour increments. Boy, I gotta do some tuning on this profile. I guess it doesn't really matter if I go over 81 because it's not going to make a whole big difference in the VTC's mileage. <laughs> this trip, I've got 21 miles to go. Drop in the bucket. So the profile I'm using here, this is uh, the... Oh, shoot, what's going on here? Thanks. This is the Hell Creek Trucking VTC 3 profile. Minus ATS expansion. Why this uh, 9900 is coming up our outside at a bit of a hurry? He is speeding. <laughs> oh, there you go. Can't be the only one. to let him go and catch up to him. Oh, they're slowing down for the construction zone. So, uh, hopefully, uh, last night they got to run a convoy with this profile with a bunch of guys. So, gonna, um... If everything went to plan, <laughs> you would have had a chance to see the live stream. Definitely not got enough power to pass anybody here. Barely got enough power to make the speed limit. Yeah, I'm seeing that again. I've got something I gotta fix in that, uh, gotta get around to it in the, um, Elk Creek Trekking Big Garage. I like this construction here. Got the beams up for the bridge road deck, but it's, 
That's pretty cool. All the bracing in place, but no road deck. Pretty neat. Oh boy, there's an accident. <laughs> Man, makes me want to get in the left lane here. I think I will. That's a long construction zone. And it's over. I just went over the uh, speed limit. I was well. I was at eighty. I guess that's gonna have to get in there and set the uh, cruise control increment to one. Should show you how to do that. Actually, why don't we just do that right now? Oops. Go into system options. In gameplay, we're going to go to the here, change this to one clock and the tolerance is zero. So, this will help the cruise control. If you're using a uh, transmission of the retarder, you'll be able to lock it on a specific speed and it should, should stay there. Let's try it now. Set it at 79. Before in the five kilometer increments or five mile an hour increments, it was uh, 75 or 80, and at 80, my beeper's going off for a truck spark to tell me to stay under 80. But it doesn't go off at 79, which is good. Oh boy. to kill it get down a gear the cruise control that is oh we better get oh shoot there's that window glare guess we can see in this lane uh, oh yeah there's somebody coming there there he goes yeah this truck is like the perfect truck we only get rid of that in these darn mirrors. I, I left that mirror on. I forgot the uh, small spot mirrors. They don't look so good. And I have some... I don't know if Overfloater is still around, if anybody knows what he's up to. No comment. Boy, early hauling hard to get over fifteen fifty. Got her to the wood. We're not can't get it over fifteen hundred RPM, but oh it's pretty steep. Guess that's why. just getting in everybody's way there. So, 14 miles to go. Sinegas. Sienegas? <laughs> I couldn't even say that again. Sienegas. And road. Let's see if we see that sign again. Firestone Drive. So there it is, Sienna Gas. Sienna Gas. Buy 
finally we're done climbing here for a little bit. So once again, this is the profile from uh, Elk Creek Tracking 3 VTC. Uh, it's dedicated server 3. And uh, yeah, big shout out to all the drivers in the VTC. You guys are doing great. If you want to join the VTC, just... Get on the uh, Goggles 56 Discord and ask away about how it's done. Got the recruiting thing on the... Oh, this doesn't have the side skirts. It says in the back, we're hiring. Call today. <laughs> I've got the arrow skirts. There's a big... There's a blurb on them too with the skin. Oh, boy. that left lane. Nope. Don't tell me it's going to detour us all the way back. You can't. No, the distance hasn't changed too much. So we should be good.
Oh, jeez. <laughs> it got sharp all of a sudden there. Brakes are a little sensitive. late today. Now we're out of the city. Like this repair patch is in the road. That uh, make the truck bounce around a bunch. Uh, the highway in uh, the highways in ATS are a little smooth. from the UK well he's in the UK he's always his super sub driver Roberto Moreno he's done quite a few videos on him that always reminds me of them when I go by there 
Moreno Junction. I like uh, Eden Millward's videos, it's, they're cool. Does a lot about the history of F1 and does IndyCar and all kinds of different things. He's gotten into IndyCar in the last year or two, uh, covering the racing and stories. Uh oh. sound too bad I like it more than Z mods uh, it sounds very similar to Z mods but it doesn't have as much static Z mods recording is in my view pretty staticky I'd be really happy if he'd redo it but now they have this one I have no reason to go back and use his Oop, excuse me Three miles. Uh oh. sort themselves out. turn off there oh no just added three miles well I gotta get out and move the lawn so we're gonna have to uh, do a little fly in here can't have that three miles takes quite a while in this game oh So, backtrack here. I was supposed to turn off on this ramp, so there's... Gotta check what the traffic's doing here. Oh, a bunch of people are turning off. Yeah, I gotta find, uh... Ow, oh, it's tight here. Hmm. Oh, I guess there's room. Oh, let's wait. Let's see. That should work. Break off. Come on. Guess I should have a voice nav going. <laughs> Ooh, the hell's that? That's a train? That's quite the whistle.
Okay, yeah, we got the hard parking. Oh, I haven't parked here in a while. Oh, we should be able to get this thing through the gate. Yeah, I think we did the right thing coming in there. And then some. We're good. Another tight spot here. Gonna go over the curb, I think. Oh no, we missed it. Nice. So in the trailer we got Smarties wheels and on the truck we got... Oh boy, I think I'm gonna turn around and come back. Or should I? Yeah, let's try it from here. Oh boy, all the stuff's in the way here. Could make it a challenge, that's for sure. Hmm, I better go a little further forward. Oh, see what kind of trouble we get in. I guess, worst case scenario, we gotta do some pull ups. Good exercise pull ups. <laughs> Oh, man. Got these containers to deal with, too. And just stay clear of them. Oh, there's this parking spot right there. Shoot. I was thinking it was... Oh, we're going to clear this thing. Yeah, I should have went around. Yeah, I think what we'll, we're going to we're going to go down here and turn around because those containers just are in the way. Could probably get real tight in there and to the left and clear them and do it and get a, some kind of jackknife going on with the trailers, but I think I can just turn across here and go back around there. It'd probably be a, make a better job of it. into the dirt here a bit. We stand a lot better chance from here. Oh yeah, I don't have the beeper on here in this profile. Backup alarm. I guess our standard equipment on trucks have been for quite a while. I know when I even when I factory ordered my uh, Louisville, it didn't come with one. I had to put one on it. Ooh, wait, wait, do, do, do. We're going to get this, maybe. Yeah, the truck is a teeny bit long, but... I've been doing this with more long trucks lately than I have with short, so... Oops. I'm gonna hit that trailer. Yeah, we can't... We're all right, we just gotta fix the problems we got going on here. Waited a little longer and got the thing lined up with the door. But I didn't. So we will do a pull up, I think. They'll probably give it to us, but we don't want to leave it there. Should get it lined up a bit better. And get those rear doors open. We got uh, cargo doors, not a roll up. 
I wouldn't be able to get that. Uh, well, I mean, it doesn't matter in real life. You'd open the doors before you backed up to the dock. Be cool if they had that too, like uh, um, Dro Modding's thing. Oh, I stalled it. Is that Torquey 8v92? <laughs> uh, yeah, like Dro Modding has with his. You detach the trailer and you can see the. Oh, shoot. I messed that up already. Uh, see if we can bring it back. Uh, we're going to be on the other side of the door, maybe. Uh, maybe we got it. I waited too long. Shoot. But anyway, yeah, the drill modding uh, reefer thing is pretty cool with the cargo. Oh, I did it again. I'm used to those beautiful inline sixes with all their torque. Down low. Love an inline six. I've had two in real life. A uh, slat six in a... Well, what was that thing? A 74 Dodge Scamp or Plymouth Scamp. And I had a 535 BMW for a long time. That thing was awesome. I'm going to just leave it right there. Love those inline sixes. All right. Well, sorry about the long video and the... Oh, man. I've been... That's been a, a thing lately. But nevertheless, that was uh, really fun. I really, really, really like this map. So, uh, yeah, look forward to the... You know, you can re-watch the live stream if you missed it from last night. And uh, see how we get on in Convoy in this profile, in this map. So, it could be pretty entertaining. So, as always, really appreciate you guys following along. We'll catch you on the next one. And bye for now.